Hello, buzzers. Welcome to Sci-Fi Buzz. I'm Mike Jarek. First, all this Harlan Ellison intrigue, and now viewers are calling asking me, what have you done with Susan Hyman? She's just fine. <laughs> She's in the basement. No, she's right over there. Susan, of course, is with us here on Sci-Fi Buzz. Now, you just got back from Hawaii. Yes, at least. I did. That's where you said you were. But look at these arm folks. Fish bellies, fish bellies. Oh, were you actually at the beach or not? I was. I was taking a well-deserved vacation, and what I did is my business. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to? Uh, really, since I've gotten back, I have been investigating the comic book kid, Rob Liefeld, finding out what he's been up to. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors that he's taking a leave of absence from oh. his beloved public. Wait a minute. This guy's like a rock star in the comic comic book world. That's right, but uh, we might not be seeing him for a while. Rob Liefeld isn't called the comic book kid for nothing. The 26-year-old whiz kid has been selling kids on his super successful superheroes since he went to work for Marvel Comics when he was only 18. Behave, Bedrock. Don't hurt anybody. After forming Image Comics with five Marvel cohorts, Liefeld's popularity has skyrocketed. In true rock star fashion, dozens of awesome Rob letters pour in every week. And we were eyewitness to fan pandemonium at Comic-Con last August. It was his last public appearance before going underground to work on new projects. But more on that later. Yet even after soaking in all the praise and profit, young Mr. Liefeld still wears his comic book kid moniker with pride. I just want to get out there and, and use whatever I can to, to get people to notice comic books. And if it's not my comic, that's fine. I mean, but, it, but if there's any, I think anything that, that can draw attention to comic books. So yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, I haven't, I haven't left comics behind. I haven't gone off and done something else. I mean, I'm still doing it, working on it every day. So yeah, I, I, I hope I wear it with pride. I think I do. The formation of Image Comics was a daring endeavor, to say the least. Here were six young men with lots of creative talent and little business expertise. But leaving the security and comfort of Marvel was just the challenge Liefeld and the others were looking for. Nobody had competed with Marvel or DC in years on, on the superhero turf. Everybody else thought they had to do some stuff that was more esoteric or science fiction-y. And we came out and we hit them between the eyes and people laughed at us and said we wouldn't, you know, exist. And six months later we were the number two company. I would personally like to stay number two the rest of my life because then you can just always knock on the door because that makes everyone else nervous. Staying second is not really a priority for Liefeld. Taking his popular young blood comic characters, Bad Rock and Die Hard, into superhero history, now there's a goal. And I think hopefully our, some of our characters will get out there. And bottom line, I think, I hope Image has stuff that is recognizable the way uh, uh, Spider-Man and Superman are recognizable nowadays. And I think that's our ultimate goal. And I don't think any of us will stop until it, that, you know, that's what's achieved. But in the meantime, we're going to have a lot of fun. Liefeld has taken an extended leave of absence from Extreme, his studio within Image Comics. According to the Comic Buyer's Guide, among other things, he'll take time to focus on an animated Youngblood TV series. Liefeld wouldn't spill the beans on rumored film collaborations with Tom Cruise and Steven Spielberg. And when we asked him and partner Jim Lee to comment on any film projects in the Friar, they were optimistic but reluctant to reveal details. I think the reason has, that has, it hasn't been done yet is, I mean, I for one think uh, it's, a, it's a bit premature. I've only got four comics out. I think I'll feel a little better when I have 12. And, and, and I've got more of a grip on it. Um, I think, but I think, I think you're guaranteed we'll see an image cartoon, an image movie, an image uh, commercial featuring one of the characters, if not all the characters, toys, video games. Um, it, it's, it's, it's like moments away from happening in some instances, and then in others it could take a while. But I think, you know, we, we're very fortunate that that, that kind of that attention has been turned on us. Now it's just a figuring out what to do with it. Is it just us, or does anyone else get the feeling Rob Liefeld could be a household name sometime very soon?